As some of you know, <clears throat> seven years ago today, I was installed and ordained as the uh, seventh bishop of the Diocese of Sioux City. And I can't think of a better place to be with people who believe in something so sacred as life uh, to celebrate this anniversary of my ordination and becoming the bishop of the Diocese of Sioux City. So thank you, uh, Catholic and non-Catholic people, men and women of goodwill for being here today. It means a lot to uh, those of us who care so deeply about these issues. In the words of the prophet Isaiah, God calls each one of us into existence out of love. The prophet Isaiah says, the Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. All human beings have an invaluable worth and dignity to our being a son or daughter of God from conception. I think, despite what a lot of people say, that most people do indeed believe that life begins at conception. And yet, for all kinds of reasons, some people are able to say that some lives need to end before they even are born. What are those reasons? Fear, embarrassment, inconvenience, those are the usual excuses. It's a woman's choice, it's legal, it's my body, it's none of your business, and such like-minded thinking has resulted in over 55 million babies being killed in their mother's womb, the place where a child should feel most protected and most safe. On this Tuesday, January 22nd, we will mark 40 years since the Supreme Court of the United States of America made a decision that has resulted in the legalization of abortion in our country. In our own state of Iowa, it's estimated that there are at least 7,000 abortions a year. This includes those lives that are taken at Planned Parenthood of Siouxland, the building right across the street from us. It's encouraging to know that pro-life activities throughout these many years are ever so slowly making a difference. Abortions are down during the recent 40 Days for Life campaign that we just completed. There's been a great movement because of the prayer and the challenging efforts at Mary's Choice that resulted in Planned Parenthood having to build that huge fence because they didn't want to see us and didn't want their clients to see what we are all about, praying and working for defending life. It made them uncomfortable. We still have so much to do if we want to see the elimination of abortion in our lifetime. We need to continue our efforts to educate ourselves and others about life issues in this culture of death that surrounds us. The building up of the civilization of love happens because of dedicated people, people like you. And I affirm you and thank you for your efforts and especially for your prayers. God sees all our deeds and he promises that in the end, good can always come out of evil. Let us not be discouraged or feel that we're not gaining ground. Let us be grateful to the young people like Jake and so many others who continue with so much fire and enthusiasm to take part in the National Right to Life March in Washington, the Walk for Life in California, and our own walk here in Sioux City. People like Jake and Teen Defenders give us hope and show us courage. Let's not forget, as we gather today, to remember so many others that we need to be conscious of. First and foremost, the unborn child in his or her mother's womb. We remember the women whose hearts are broken by the sin of abortion. We remember our president and those who work with him, that God will fill their hearts with a love for the weakest, the littlest and the most defenseless of our citizens. 
we remember in prayer the parents of every unborn child. We remember doctors and nurses for little children who await the birth of a new sister or brother, for newly married couples as they look forward to the birth of their first child, for religious leaders and for pro-life legislators and judges that they will not be discouraged and remain firm in their defense of life no matter what the cost. And finally, for all those who have been scarred by the tragedy of abortion, for repentance, for healing, and for peace. Forty years is long enough. Let us beg the Lord to bring an end to these 40 years of wandering of our nation, as he did long ago for the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years. We must be the voice for the unborn. They have no vo voice but our own. May God continue to bless all of our efforts and all of you. Thank you for being here today.